Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. So we have kind of a puzzle on this final stage. How do we beat this without grinding? I have an idea, but it's probably going to take some item rearrangement. There's one combination of party formations that got me decently far when I was playing a little bit off stream from last time to this time. So what I'm looking to do is basically have three characters tank really hard. The problem is that we only have two characters that could survive a hit. So we'll see what happens. I, if I could just get like Chris's character a little tankier, I think I could probably actually win this. The problem is that Chris's character is uh, just not enough health because I didn't transmigrate him another time. So he's like 600 below where he needs to be. If he had the same HP as in Parameter, then I think I could win as is. But the problem is, he needs to be able to survive a melee hit, which is already already a pretty tall order. And he also doesn't have like a lot of tokens. So what I might need to end up doing... Let's try this. I should have another one somewhere. Honestly, I might equip him with the- oh, well, it gets minus health. Mmm... Well... Maybe. Unironically, I might actually use defense to survive. I think Chris's just overall stats just need to be higher, so I'm gonna take the thing that impacts him the least. Oh. I'm going to sound cut out. Hopefully chat still hears the sound. But I think what I'm going to try to do is very gradually increase his health a little bit. I want to see if this is good enough to help him survive. Because he only, he only gets a little bit from defense. And the other thing I want to replace is probably his other int boost. Eh. Okay, you can still hear. As long as Shaq can hear, that's fine. I'll play in silence. I don't want to mess with the sound while we're here. The other thing I want to do is... Maybe give him the Devil Ring? It will lower his damage slightly, but I'm not looking for dam- I I'm not worried about damage, I'm worried about survival. So we're, we're gonna squeeze as much health as I could possibly fit. But just like, small defense increase. Also increases his resistance, which might matter. I'm gonna try this. The other thing I wanna do... I'll save this setup for now. I am actually going to pass the triple XP. I think our level actually matters here. I will go promotion exam right now. I'm going to pass it on our three mages, and those are the only characters I'm going to do it on. I was hoping to not have to do this, but I think I genuinely need the levels. And if I could get any bonus from that triple XP, I'm going to go ahead and do it. And if that means getting proficiency two or three swings earlier, I think I need to go for it. You know what I mean, chat? Like, I have to. Even those two swings alone might have done it. I'm not sure. Because Kurt can survive right now. There's not a question. I don't want to have to fight the people for the bill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save again. The Kirk leveling kind of matters. I don't want to improve counterattack. I'm pretty sure I just die if that happens. I'm gonna try to do this without getting a battle, but they might not allow it. <laughs> what the heck is this? Okay, we're we're at Bill RNG. I see we're at that point of the playthrough. Oh boy, let's see. Come on. Otherwise, I'll just reset. I want to keep some of my mana for later. Wow. I mean, I could do the old-fashioned way of bribing them with items. I would just prefer not to do that. I'll try one more time. If they're always going to vote against, I'm not going to bother. 
You can't make it up, chat. Okay, so they don't want me to do that strat. That's fair. So, we'll give up on that for the moment. I don't, like, need it, need it. But I don't really want to get into another fight with the Senators. Alright, so Kirk is almost at 13. Which matters, because that's essentially, like, another 40 or so attack. We never got to level Calvisham in any significant way, so he's not adding a lot of stats to Kirk currently. Because again, I kind of thought the bonus rank of the map would be there. I will say that will be a big complaint when we go to review this game, that Etna mode is not properly balanced. We saw the difficulty spikes really, really big compared to the main game, and I just don't think that was really fair. Um... Sure, I'll improve in. Okay, so the question is, with this setup, is this good enough for Chris to live? I was gonna triple XP him so that he could level up and maybe get a little extra stats. So what are we gonna do? Um, Number one is Kirk. Put him here. I'm gonna make sure my back is away from the enemy. So I don't take extra damage. I think that was part of the problem before. I was getting hit from all sides, and the back attack is the deadliest. I'm gonna put in Parameter in the middle. I'm gonna put Chris on the right. Ah, game. So, Chris does not- it's just- I don't know if he has enough health. We'll see. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Rogue Nine. We're gonna use all of these, not for their bonuses, but for the sheer fact that I can... Actually, I could have done this in a slightly different order to protect Etna, but whatever. If this matters, I could have picked up this one with Rogue 9 and then had Etna throw from here. That might have mattered. I don't know if it will. Because when you have throw 5, you can reach this pretty easily. Even throw 4, honestly, can reach it. I could do it on both sides. One thing that I could do is something like this. <clears throat> I don't care about the bonuses. I just don't want them to physically be able to walk back here. So I think because I have weaker characters back here and they can't hit them with anything, that they will melee the front line. Unfortunately, Kirk doesn't have a thing that hits in front of him, which kind of sucks. So we're going to get as many buffs in as we can here. Alright, that should be able to get- if they have super resist, I should be able to kill them now. So one thing we saw that was kind of annoying and a downside is that... For some reason, no attack here, including Hurricane Slash, is duplicated. Allegedly, chat, according to the wiki, it does not apply to skills that move them. But, spoilers, wiki's wrong. It also applies to skills that don't move them. I think it only works on spells and normal attacks. So, talk that one up, chat. Wiki's wrong. I just want you to know, I looked it up after the stream. I promise you, it says... Excluding moves that move you, and Hurricane Slash does not move me from my spot, nor does it move my target. Therefore, it does not qualify by their own admission. Alright, so let's do... Well, they're weak to different things, which is a little annoying. Let's do... Double Omega Star into Double Omega Star. Ooh. Parameter actually got the kill there. Interesting. So one thing that's kind of nice about the combo system, I didn't talk about this in detail before, but every single attack in the chain adds 10% to the next person. So attack plus one with normal attacks is better for me to do here because it's going to empower in parameter by 20% instead of 10%. And given that in parameter is strong enough to solo most of these things, that kind of makes a difference. Die. Die. Alright, so that's fine. They didn't kill Chris, but I have no other healers. 
So it's kind of unfortunate that they could still reach me like that, but I don't think there's anything I can do about that. None of them lined up with me, which kind of sucks. So I think I had too many people. If I had used a few less people... And it also kind of sucks that they hit full screen like that. That's kind of insane, I'm not gonna lie. Um, they are really far apart. I might have to do something like this. Was that only three hits? Hold on. Am I hallucinating, chat? Was that only three hits? Did he skip a hit? I saw Chris's two. I didn't see in parameters two. Uh, well. I think it's time to go into no cares given. A little further back. If they target Kirk, it doesn't matter. These guys need to die, though. That's the only thing I know for real, chat. If they don't die, it's over. Die. That's fine. Die. Die. Oh, they have attack plus one. I forgot about that. Ooh. Yeah, in that case, let's retry. So, hmm. Is there a way... Is there a way to do this? Just thinking. I know, I felt like you only attacked once there for some reason. Not sure what caused that. Maybe I could do something like this? What if I use less characters. Can I stop them from becoming a viable target by putting all my high health characters here? I wonder. So we saw that Chris and uh, and Parameter are fine. I need Chris probably over here. I want him on one side so they have to commit a bit more. So if I don't summon the rest of my army here... And what I can also do just for free damage here is... Oh, I shouldn't have used Rognon. I should have waited a little bit. Oh, well. So this will cut them off. We already know that this should work. Let's do triple Omega Star. Or three by three, I mean, whatever. You know what I mean. Let's go ahead and just do this. Oh, stat RNG. Stat RNG, come on. Okay, we got we have to retry. <laughs> okay, that is kind of obnoxious, I'm not gonna lie. Did you see that damage difference between attempts, chat? How unfair that was? There's nothing I can do about that, by the way. I just have to retry. So anytime they have 3,000 resist, we have to reset. It's not possible for me to kill them. I can maybe kill those. Just actually shake your head, Chad. Like, that is just so unfair when that happens. Why are they allowed to get over 100% of a stat? <laughs> why Why is that the stat range? Either it has no stat or is as maxed as possible. Holy. I'm gonna try something like this. All right, so they're more likely to target the right side. We're going to do the same thing as before, but I'm going to put Rogue Nine here for Kirk to guarantee he gets more combos. Actual shenanigans, chat. Actual shenanigans. Parameter can take the most hits. And Parameter can actually survive, I think, two hits without any issues. We're definitely going to do a team attack here. We're going to do Omega Star for real. And then stronger Omega Star here.
Oh, there we go. That's how it should have happened. Put them away. Let's see what they do. Go kill Chris. Die. Die. Oh. oh. Oh, hold on. Is this the run? I get to play the game? <laughs> Wait, chat. I get to play? I'm not just doomed to instantly die? Holy. All <laughs> if I beat this stage, all I get is Dark Rosary. Are you serious? <laughs> so crap. <laughs> That's so crap, chat. Why, why are the stage rewards so terrible? <laughs> I'm like, this is stuff I could have gotten <laughs> like level 30. Oh, man. So they targeted Imperameter and Chris. But I think Chris's extra defense saved him. I think Reaper's Cloak genuinely stopped him from getting one shot. Alright, so now we can afford to go all out because these characters only have level 1 magic, so they cannot reach that far with it. Okay, I get to play the game, chat. Chris is still kind of in danger. I probably need to heal him. But the difference now is that I could get away with buffs. So I could put away most of these characters, right? I'm probably going to use Rogue 9 to try to heal Chris. If they target Rogue 9, they target Ro Rogue 9. I, was, I don't even know what else to say on that one. Let's give him a little more SP. I don't even know. Do I want melee on them? What are their defenses? The resist is decent, but I'm also about to get more damage, so maybe this doesn't matter. Let's move most of our mages on the other side to try to split their shots at best. And then next turn, I can finally raise my melee score, chat. I could finally do it. The only thing that's a downside is we still have never seen what his attacks are. I might just look him up, honestly. We're at the point where I would prefer not to reset, because we actually made progress. If I can get any understanding of how he attacks, it would be very good for us. Because we're not able to see it in the early disguise. Later ones, you could kind of tell what they do. No, I don't want his story appearances. What are his actual abilities? Oh, he's Holy Lightning. I have a feeling this probably will go past where we need it to go. Uh, so I think what'll happen is we'll let him move once and then we'll just try to pick him up with our remaining characters. I'll do a chain throw if I need to. So for now, we're going to magic boost. That would make the most sense to do. And again, this is where all their magic proficiencies from earlier in the game are actually relevant. So if people thought I was overdoing it before, I need to be as far away as possible here. So now, we're going to do our best. So recovery should mean I heal one more time. So what I could try to do is use Gonna Bite It to heal in Parameter. Which I think is the right call. Well, I guess it depends on who they target. I guess it depends. So Kirk needs to be here to body block. I could technically have him held up by another character, but I feel like that's unnecessary depth. He can hit somebody here, so I might as well chip him for whatever I can to add to the combo. Both of them are weak to fire. Okay. That's actually good RNG. I'll take that. I don't know if this will double up because he might not have enough magic. I might have to just giga fire this and then use Imperameter for the fire. I wonder if that's what happened last time. I just didn't have enough SP. Oh, Gigafire is so good. Wait. Oh, Chris level 2. That might matter, as I said before. Every every stat point matters right now. And now I can level up Kirk next turn. Oh, and they didn't even move this turn? So what we could do is... Oh, this is like the best possible outcome we could have asked for, chat. I'm not going to lie, this is like best case scenario. So I can have... I can have Kirk move up and potentially take a shot here, from up here. 
I don't care about them coming through the middle at this point, since if Volcanus can go through the middle, I'm already dead. But I think what we need to do is... Magic boost twice here, I think is the call. Now I should be at max magic. There should be a 5,000 plus with Imperimeter. Yes. Now the question is... Can I kill them as is? Where's the defense one? We're gonna we're gonna lift the defense one real quick. Right, chat? That's the smart thing to do. So if we lift this up, now we can actually damage them with Kirk. But for now, let's make sure that these characters get some SP. The Rogue Nine will probably dodge a hit. I'm not worried about him. If he dies, he dies. Is Chris strong enough to kill, is the question. Hopefully? No, he's not. Damn, the resist is too high. How annoying. Just like a little shy. Damn. Just needed more stats. Alright, so I think the right call is to absolutely kill them with this. I do not want them to have a turn. Put this back. I have two characters. I could lift up the other target. I prefer not to. Can't put him back in the base. Try hasn't done anything, so we could put Try away as well. So Kirk having Braveheart doesn't matter right now. It might matter in the future. Can I do anything to stall this is the question. I could put Rogue Nine here to stop them from getting through. So we now have an area that's kind of cut off. So they have to attack one of these targets. Rogue Nine's defense is kind of terrible. But he also has dodge. Ooh, this is where this is where it gets a little shaky, chat. I could lift up this target. Is it worth a death? I think it might be. Let's do this to guarantee that we don't die to nonsense. And then let's have a character walk up and actually just give it parameter SP. There we go. And Parameter can now basically nuke. Chris is now refreshed. I have characters in the corners that can provide buffs. If they target Kirk, it's not the end of the world, presumably. And now they're off the tile, which means I can assist with this combo. But even if they have high stats, it doesn't matter here. What I can end up doing is something like... Try can provide buffs to the magic users. I think I can hit Kirk with that from here. I, indeed, I can. Thank you, Super Brave Heart Range. So I think this is now not quite in the bag, but this is looking doable. We're going to magic boost this duo again. So now for the first time, we have Kirk with actual damage buffs. And with attack plus one, that's actually pretty strong. So what I could do temporarily as well is move Rogue Nine here for way more damage. So I think this will work. Because Kirk's damage is pretty high already. So now we just need to finish them. You gotta use... <laughs> is it Omega Win for real? Yeah, of course it is. Why would we even second guess this? Of course it's Omega Win. Alright, so this should kill. And Parameter sneaking out a little extra in stats. Honestly, 2,000 health? I think he might actually survive the boss just straight up. We're gonna put Rogue Nine back. So, presumably Volcanus is gonna walk forward. He's probably gonna target our mages. I could move... Chris backwards for now. 
Just to ensure he's not possibly ever in range, along with Imperameter. Because uh, as I said before, if they're coming, if he's coming down the middle, he's coming down the middle. I can leave Rogue Nine here. I probably want to move him in the corner. So we're just trying to optimize the chances of us not exploding instantly. So there's. I refuse to believe from here he could target anything other than Rogue Nine. Maybe he could hit my Heart Mage. Maybe. But there's no way he could kill every single person over here. There's no way. So let's see what he does. Ooh! He took he took his slow ass time walking over here. I'll take that. All right, Chad, I will absolutely take that. All right, so now we can buff Kirk again. We can buff Kirk again without needing to move. Which, by the way, I could probably do this. Not that they're very likely to land the buff due to how the ninja works. But I could try. Now we have, like, a turn or so to power up. So now Kirk is at higher strength than he's been in the entire playthrough so far for this stage. I need to have a throwing character. I think what I need to do is put you back. I think we just start sacrificing some pawns, chat. I don't I don't see anything else we could do. We might give a salute to Calvisham here. Oh, I need to actually summon them ahead of time. All right, then I think Rogue Nine needs to die. Unless I throw somebody. Which probably make more sense to do. Let's throw somebody. Sorry, Eviscerated. You are ultra dead. <laughs> right, chat? You are... Ultra, ultra dead. Now I can get behind him to do additional damage. And then I can lure him in front of this tile, which would be huge. Because that means next turn, Kirk would be able to get 50% attack. I think this will work. I'm too scared to start a counterattack war. I feel like I would just die instantly. 2,895 attack. There's no way I survive a counter war with him. So we're going to do our best to weaken him here. What is he weak against? Ice. Interesting. Do I have enough SP to do this? I think I do. We're going to start with Chris. We're going to end with Imperameter. Just to make sure. They're both at max int. No, they're not. <clears throat> Can I get one more int boost from something? No. Oh, I can. I can. Okay. Is this kind of matters? This actually kind of matters. I'm going to now put somebody here so I could get more buffs. And I'm actually going to walk the other character over here so I could double Braveheart next turn. In fact, I'm going to move all of them forward because I can. So at this point, survival does not matter. We should be fine. I wasted a little bit of a combo, but that's fine. So we're, we're doing some damage to his ludicrous health total. I hope I actually have enough... Now I'm worried I don't have enough SP, which is insane. But, you know, we're here now, I guess. I could always switch to Giga Ice, I guess. But I'd really prefer not to. We need to do some big damage here. Okay, we're averaging 30,000 a turn. I need to last about three and a half more turns. But we also know Kirk is going to be in the position to get attack 50%, which will make a very big difference in our ability to kill him. So we're going to lift him. I do not want to see what his attacks do. <laughs> Chat, I refuse. I don't want to see what he can do. Okay, so now he's lined up with the other thing. So this is our biggest chance for damage. So the nice thing about standing here, chat, is that see Kirk's stats now? We could do it with one less character. So he's now at 6,000. This is the highest he has ever been. Before I do that. We're at the point I might even just consider flinging spells at him in general just to hurt him. I don't know if he could punish me at max distance. But you know what? Let's, let's get in some gunshots, chat. Listen, if he can hit me from here, he can hit me from... Well, 
Do I want to risk it? Is he considered melee range? Is there a way to see his range? I don't know if there is. I'm assuming he can't hit me. Alright, we're gonna do... Alvisham shooting once to do damage. Lift with this character next turn. As I said before, it might actually just be better to attack with these mages at this point now. I could keep the buffs up on Chris and such. But I wonder if next turn I can manipulate it a little better. If that happens, that's gonna buff. Do this to buff. Save a little bit of SP here. That's not what I meant to do. Got to cancel his attack. My bad. Alvisham shot in vain. I'm really messing up the combos. Kind of unfortunate. Mega Ice time for sure. But this time we get an extended combo. We just need one more really good turn like this and he might die. So we need three turns. I think I can do it. I think I can do it as is. I think this can happen. Downside is we're going to move him a little out of range. There's not much I can do about this. But she's also able to do something next turn. Yeah, I, I messed up my combo. I don't know why I did that. You know what? I'm going to switch who is where. I'll have that character lifted up. We should be able to get a good combo going here. And what's funny is I can even possibly use Braveheart to combo. I think that works. I think if I Braveheart Volcanus, I think I can actually get a really stupid combo going, chat. Let, let's go for a stupid combo. We, we need to do whatever we can here. Uh, stupid combo time. What else do I need to do? Try can go here for now. Actually, try can just lift up. He can't do anything else at this point. So we could. So I could double Braveheart both of them. Oh no, what I should do first is. Oh, I don't have somebody to buff their damage. Hmm. And let. Oh no, no, no. If I do this, this works. So he'll start the combo. She'll just magic boost. So let's let's go for let's go for stupid combo. We're gonna go ahead and buff the boss. And then we're gonna shoot with Vol we're gonna shoot with Calvisha. Then we're gonna hurricane slash. Then we're gonna attack with Chris. Then we're gonna attack with Imperameter. So this is about as much damage as I could get. I could have squeezed out a little more damage before. I'm not sure if it matters. We'll find out. It counts. So we need to survive one more turn. I think we could do it. We could do it with exactly who we have here currently. And then I can even pull him over here, which is like absolute genius tier. So that way his back is to this and we get attack 50%. I should have enough SP to still do this. Everybody's really low, but I think we are actually going to beat the challenge. Wow. Look at the manipulation needed to win, chat. Holy. What, what a challenge mode. So we're going to go ahead and leave him over here. Calvisham's going to lift up like a boss. Calvisham's going to go down with the ship, as it were. I don't think there's anything about it. So we need to keep their in as high as possible or else we just lose. Let's start this. So all of their magic ups ended up not being a waste at all. I needed their range basically through and through. I needed their levels. I think it is time to say goodbye to this boss next turn. So we're going to double pump. So Kirk will be at max strength. Then we're going to hit with... Then we're going to hit with Hurricane Slash for sure here. 
Then we're gonna hit with Chris again, who's almost out of SP. But thankfully, that switch... Actually, you know what? They didn't hit Chris that much. They hit him once, but it wasn't as bad as before. We're gonna hit with Chris, and we're gonna hit with Omega Ice again with Volcanus. Please die. Well, please get close to death, more accurately. Oh, look how close Calvisham was to living. Chat, if I had not done a bad combo earlier, I think we could have squeezed it another 4,000 between two different combos. Because keep in mind, in Parameter doing 10% on 7,000 something, probably will work. So sorry, Calvisham. Give him the salute, chat. He went down so that we could finally beat this run. I'm so sorry, Calvisham. You took 65,000 damage and died. Okay. Well, there's only one real appropriate way to end this. There we go. Impaled. <laughs> the Dark Rooster is so bad. It's so bad, chat. Just, I can't even equip it. What is it? This light! It's the power of the Seraph! Please! I only wanted to ready! He got away, really? Right, chat? Really? After the struggle to finally beat the stage, really? Wow, what an insult. What an insult to Calvisham getting crushed under Volcanus. He did not escape. Instead, he shall suffer the wrath of the Seraph. How do you do, mademoiselle? Appearing after it's all over? I bet you were hiding somewhere watching from a safe distance. Oh, so harsh. You are about to regain your memories. You can at least thank moi for that. I didn't need them. They're not even worth one hell. But I guess they really will return. Dot, 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 chat. How are you doing, Miss Edna? Do you remember anything? Hmm, I'm not sure. But I think I'll remember in time. You don't look too happy. I am. But... But? There's more sorrow than happiness. That's because you haven't fulfilled your promise. Promise? What are you talking about? You have regained your memories. You should remember by now. Miss Edna? Promise? Did you call for me, my lord? It's about my son, Laharl. Oh, that brat. Oops. So, what about the prince? It's been a long time since I became the overlord. I am old, and I don't know when I'll be defeated by another demon. He'll never be defeated. Oops. I'm just saying if. If I die, the netherworld will be plunged into chaos once again. Many demons will come after Laharl to become the next overlord. Etna, this is not an order, but a promise between you and me. Promise? Stash that hair, yeah, he's something else. If I die, will you please protect Laharl and make sure Laharl becomes a great overlord? That's right. I did make a promise to the overlord. I completely forgot. What was I doing? I killed the prince. Hey, what is this? It can't be. Miss Etna? Get away! Don't look at me! I don't get it! Why am I crying? You're finally being true to yourself. You're regretting that you killed the Overlord's son, aren't you? Miss Etna, if you're sad, it's okay to cry. Would you like some assistance? Miss Etna? Dot 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 from Miss Edna. Sorry. But I'm not that weak. I won't say I'm not sad for killing the prince. <laughs> I like how she says I'm not that weak, says like the level 5 to the level 8 flan. <laughs> like, Chad, she has not been useful in the story at all. But I can't go back. 
This is the way I chose to live. I would dot 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 that too, Flan. <laughs> There's still something you can do. What is that? You can say a prayer for him. For his peace and eternal rest. What do you think? It's not much, but I guess I can do that. All right! <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I uh, apologize for disturbing you at such an emotional moment, but... Beautiful Mademoiselle, are you not forgetting something? Huh? Is he not, after all, the son of the mighty King Krichevskoy? Oh. I, I thought there was going to be another cutscene. Did I kill him, Chad? There we go. We beat Etna mode. So that's officially all of the story done. That final stage was terrible. We had AI RNG. We had stat RNG. <laughs> We had spell RNG. Holy, that final level was terrible. So we kind of did what I think it wanted us to do. Not in the sense that we needed the defense increase, but more that to stop the mages from going past us. And we even had to manipulate the AI so that they wouldn't do the AoE spells. By not playing all of our mages. Which is kind of insane, how much manipulation was needed to win that. <laughs> like, like, we genuinely had to reset at start if this, if this happens. And I think we got really lucky that the other uh, back row characters were mid-stat as well. Because remember, those characters are stat RNG too. And both of them were weak to the same element. Was kind of huge, Chad. I'm not going to lie. If that didn't happen, I think we also would have, would have needed to reset. So that is what we call too many layers. <laughs> I'm okay with like some stat variation, like 10 to 20% is fine, but I don't think an enemy unit should be able to go from 400 defense to 1600. Like that range is just so insane. That just, it doesn't make any sense or go from like 1200 resistance to 3000. It just doesn't make any sense. I'm assuming that happened on the other stages as well, but we never had a reason to reset them before. But it was very profound when we were fighting those. Kind of unfortunate. I mean, it's okay to give like each character a little more personality, so that's why they had randomized spells when they load in, but... Big oof to the uh, balance of that that does not feel tested. They're just like, yeah, somebody's gonna be like level 1000 plus by this point. And by that point, it doesn't matter, right chat? <laughs> like, if you're designing for the level 1000 encounter, that's one thing, but I don't think that should be in the main story. You know, we never got Flan in the mask and we never got the wolf thing either. I feel like Etna mode cheated us. Why did we not get the wolf as a playable character? That's some BS right there, Chad. Oh, there's Hogmiser and his son. Whose name I forget offhand. I was gonna call him Porkchop, but that's not right. I guess on the plus side, I didn't need to do the triple XP strat. I took like one unnecessary promotion, I guess. Otherwise, I think most of our promotions were required to beat it. I would have liked to have transmigrated one more time in regular story mode. I think that was the only thing I could have prepped better for to make sure that Chris got more uh, stats. I think that was the only real big difference I would do and probably have leveled... Um, RJ Chaos. That would have been the other thing I would have done to make sure that I had another character for buffs. Oh man, I overslept. Huh? Where am I? There's no time to be tired. The Netherworld has gone to hell while you were sleeping. 
spin. And we never killed Laharl after all. Um, I guess I'll go back to the main story on this save. Honestly, I'm just going to save over... I don't know. We need to delete some of these other saves. I don't really need them anymore. I guess I could save down here somewhere. It kind of sucks that it forces me to choose. And I, I, like, I would like to just be able to do both from this playthrough. It's out of curiosity. King Hridrefskoy, okay. The mighty ruler of the netherworld. You still can't skip it on a new game plus. His long reign came to an abrupt end as the news of his death spread throughout the dark land. We'll let the intro play out as I gather thoughts. Ambitious demons rose one after another to seize the opportunity. And thus began the age of turbulence and anarchy. Oh, his son was Porkmeister. That's what it was. Let the intro play out and then we'll talk a bit more. I think from the Anyways. standpoint of the playthrough, we're basically done. We just have bonus stuff if we want to do it Tuesday, Thursday. What you better have a Oh yeah. Big news. You're a what? Two years ago. And I just want to save the game again. It is so unfortunate you can't skip this. I can see why the console version added in cutscene skip. Because it does it does hinder the replayability. Because the other games let you skip the cutscenes for the most part. Maybe maybe not the original version of two, all the cutscenes. But probably the updated versions of two will do that. Three, four, five, and six definitely have it, since it was in three. But I think from the standpoint of uh Episode one. Prince of the Netherworld. From the standpoint of gameplay loops, I don't really want to sit through all these force cutscenes again, because there's a lot of them. I mostly just wanted to see something in comparison. Poor Laharl. Now, remember when his stats were considered high? I just want you to reflect on this. <laughs> like, like, even Rogue Nine is about on par with Laharl at his half his level. Meanwhile, Kirk is like this. So we'll, we'll do a little bit of... New ally joined our party. Oh yeah, Planeer wasn't in our party. Yeah, why did she leave the party? That was kind of whack. Okay, I just want to confirm. Is it going to make me sit through tutorials again? Oh my gosh, why? <laughs> why would they leave it like this, chat? That's all I wanted to confirm. Even this mode on another loop, I still have to sit through their dumb little tutorials. Game, please. Alright, let's save for another... Well, let's pause for now. We'll have a clean break from the standpoint of completing the other stage. So let's go to Let's Chat. We will continue the stream a little bit, but I, I want to separate the segment out. So from the standpoint of talking about the final stage, what did we learn? I think overall, Etna mode specifically was not very well balanced. I think there was some interesting geo puzzles, quote unquote, where we had to figure out what to do, like when there was like the ally damage with the lone flan boss. I just think they they scaled and level too quickly to the point where it was like just nearly impossible to kill anything without having like actual uber gear. And I think the other problem, the big problem, is definitely the map ranks. I don't know why they reset the map rank to one. That was really garbage. I don't mind if it wasn't as high as the other levels. Like if it went from like, I don't know, 18 down to like 15. I don't know if I would have ultimately cared because it would have gone higher than before, but that it just feels really bad, especially when you're doing like a challenge run like this, where you go and fight like these ridiculous level 300 bosses or like a 600 people and you get a rosary. Like, give me a break, chat. Like, like that's the reward for beating Etna mode, a rosary, that's it. Not even like 20,000 XP or like a bazillion hell. 
I don't know. That was a, that was a big misstep. And the thing is with Etna mode chat is that 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 is not in the original game. So they decided to do this in the PSP release originally. As far as I know, PSP or DS, whichever one. But either way, they had multiple versions to go fix this. Do you know what I mean? And I heard that there were some adjustments to maps to make them a bit more fair. Since some of the ones where it was like generic attack boost in our version of the playthrough of Etna Mode was, was originally like enemy boost times three. So I think they realized some of it was kind of not fun. But I think from the standpoint of the final area, the final area was just way overtuned. I also don't feel like it would have been a big problem if they had kept almost everything the same, including the stats, but they removed level 15 spells. I don't know why those characters were allowed to have level 15 spells, and that messed up a lot of strategy. Like, we would have won in, like, maybe two tries or less if the enemy didn't have Giga Ice that hit, like, 11 spaces away. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's no counter to it. I just, I have to one-shot them. There's no other counter. Like, the fact that they could hit me from, like, blocking off the midway point is insane. And we saw that on at least one of the attempts today, where the AI just hit me from literally three quarters of the map away, walked forward, destroyed my entire party, and they both knew to target two different sides so they would kill, like, a bazillion characters. So yeah, I will say there was, uh, what was the other stage, chat? There was one other Etno mode stage that was really, really unbalanced. And we, we did try a few times on that one, just because they were just, again, so overleveled. I know it had to do with, like, the million sniper tree things. I don't know why the tree things were allowed to hit that far range and have that much stats. Yeah, the tree stumps were insane. Like, that was another one where it was, like, barely, wi barely winnable, as is. Yeah, those tree stumps were insane. Yeah, Chris missed that. The, the Terror of the Tree Stumps was another big roadblock in our challenge. But I think with that chat, we're going to cut the video here because challenge is over. We're, we're taking off the gloves, chat. Listen, I'm no longer going to play nice with this game. We went through without grinding. Next up on our video selection chat, we're going to go towards level 9,999. And I don't mean across many weeks. I'm talking about probably like three hours, maybe four. I have to sit through some story cutscenes, so we'll see where it goes. So we're going to split it into a couple videos. But anyway, chat, uh, that's, I guess, all for now. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube from the standpoint of the challenge video. Challenge done. We beat it. It's over. The main story was mostly fine in terms of the challenge, I will state. I think there was maybe one stage that was a little more difficult. But it overall was, like, way better balanced than the Etna mode. Like, it was, like, night and day how much easier the story mode was compared to Etna mode. And I think that was mostly due to absolutely BS stat variation in Etna mode. Literally ruining, att ruining attempts by giving enemies, like, 3,000 resist. Like, what am I supposed to do with that, chat? How, how, like, I can't physically kill them at that point. So unfair. But anyway, uh, that's it for the challenge, so... I guess so long, YouTube, and I guess see you in the cleanup of the bonus stuff.